Hi, I'm Tui Lyon from Angel City Derby and today I'm going to take you through the third part of my three-part positional blocking videos. So for this last one, I'm going to show you guys how to do some backwards positional blocking. So this is all about maintaining positional control while we're in a backwards blocking stance. So one of the key elements of positional blocking, as I mentioned in my other videos, is ensuring we're responsible for our own balance. This is especially important when we're backwards blocking. A lot of the time when people are backwards blocking, they're doing it with their legs straight. So when pressure is applied from their opposition, they will fall forwards or potentially backwards. So they'll be applying, taking pressure on the chest and have straight legs. And if Rachel pushes against me and then pulls away, I'm of course not responsible for my balance. So I'm going to maintain my balance by bending at the knees and ensuring that when pressure is driving me forwards, I'm separating and splitting my legs to hold my body weight steady. So when Rachel applies pressure, I have some breaks down, I'm stopping when she pulls off, my weight is centered over my leading leg. So we can use a combination of different footwork to move laterally across the track. Just like our other forms of positional blocking, our aim is to move laterally rather than down the track. Most of the footwork that I use is either leading with the toe or on my toe stops. So a lot of the footwork will look like this, leading with the toe and then planting an edge. Leading with the toe and then planting an edge. The other option is of course to move across the track on our toe stops in a little bit of a sort of squat run position. So we're now going to combine those two elements. Keeping our body position low, bent at the knees, ensuring we're maintaining that physical contact with our opposition and using a combination of that footwork to move across the track to catch laterally. Rachel?